Hiya, I'm Hayley from Creative Photo Folk and today we'll be walking through the photography and Photoshop process I used to create my artwork. I tried to drown my sorrows. So this image, I tried to drown my sorrows, is named after the Frida Kahlo quote, I tried to drown my sorrows, but the bastards learned how to swim. And it was actually a complete accident in how it came about. So I was actually creating this image here, which is called Rosewater, and it's my most popular print. And when I was trying to find some bubbles that I'd shot, as I was transferring the bubbles across into this main image, I thought, wow, she actually looks really cool in the vase. So I did a second version of this image, and it became... I tried to drown my sorrows. So as you can see, same wig, same costume, same shoot. It just evolved in a different way. So don't you love a happy accident? So to show you how I created this, this layer here is actually just the bottom of the vase. I wanted the water to be higher to be able to place my subject into it. And it had this liquid in, which I think may have been milk, and I'm not even sure. I can't remember why I even filmed that. So I wanted to keep this bottom of the vase. I liked the way it was lit, but not the top. So I actually then composited in the rest of the vase. And so as you can see, the water is now higher, and it's got a little bit of movement to it, which is good for the storytelling aspect. And this vase was photographed on my kitchen bench. And this black background is actually the top of a seat. So I bought it to use for levitation. So it's quite a high stool. I bought it for five bucks, I think, from an off shop. And the back of it came off, you know, where you put your back against. So I had pulled the back off and used it as the black backdrop for this scene. It's amazing what you can MacGyver together when you need to. Next, I added in the girl. So if I hopefully can show you the behind the scenes, it's uh, upside down. I was just in my backyard jumping. Behind me is a black sheet on, I presume, a clothes stand because I didn't have any special gear at the time. Although it does look a bit like a backdrop stand. But regardless, this is me jumping in a costume that I bought um, from someone down the road off Marketplace. I think it's a ballroom dancing costume or something like that. And the wig was one I found on eBay. So I took that image, cut her out, flipped her upside down. And that's a pretty good shot in itself. There's obviously a little bit of cleaning up to do. But I will show you where I took it then. So I first added a curves, which darkened her foot down. Just so it matched the other one. This curve then lightened her feet up. <laughs> Why I do these things, I do not know. Then I darkened her down. I guess I was presuming that light would be coming from the top. So being closer to the bottom of the vase, she would have been a bit darker. So then I lightened the top of her and then I lightened it a bit more. Next, I cloned out any of the distraction areas. So you'll see all of those popping off. Then there was some little um, water bubbles I didn't like. So I cloned them out too. Let me turn on the bubbles. So I'll we'll do them one by one. So the first set of bubbles was added to her foot here because I was thinking about what parts of her would be moving and creating bubbles. So then I darkened that down with a level so it fit. Now to create the bubbles, I basically used this exact same vase and I poured water into it and then I photographed as the water hit the water in the vase and created some bubbles. So that's how they came about. I wonder if I can even show you a behind the scenes. So they have been lightened up considerably. This one I put in um, because I really liked this heart shape and I wanted to have it as a feature by putting it in a prominent position. Added some more bubbles for this foot because I kind of presume that her feet would be kicking around a little. Then added some from her mouth as if she was breathing out as she's falling. And finally some for her arms. And I like the little shape that that created. Then it was pretty simple. I just um, added a hue saturation and I added that to make it look like she was kind of in water. So it's got a little bit of a bluish tone to, to it and it actually really reddened up the hair. And another reason I may have done that is to make it look different from this image. Then I added a curves and again, what does that one do? Really pulls up the blues. So again, that's sort of more selling the underwater vibe. Added a selective color. That just seems to be affecting the whites to make them a little brighter. Next was a curve. So that was just darkening down the bottom of the image, primarily the highlights. And lastly, a levels. And I'm not even sure what that levels is doing. Oh, taking up the midtones the tiniest amount. 
So super simple image in terms of the images that I create. And this is an image I created pretty early, I suppose, in my art career. So there wasn't a lot to it. But this image has had a kind of weird life. It's, I think, the first print I ever sold to a friend. And it seems to be quite popular with my friends who like to drink. So I have a friend who actually has a big print of this behind his home bar. It's also been made into coasters. And it's even been sold to a book publishing company as a cover. So hopefully you can now see that not all my images are super, super detailed. This is a real easy one. I sell it as a open edition print. And it's simply a vase with some bubbles and me jumping in my backyard. So I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse behind the scenes. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in future walkthroughs and tutorials. Bye.